I mean, she's my baby sister. I think it's terrifying. I think it's very, very difficult. I truly see what she's going through. And that was really heartbreaking. But there is hope. Kara has been hell-bent on sabotaging her own life with substance abuse. And her sister has made it clear how worried she is for her. Kara and her sister, Poppy Delavine, are no strangers to erratic upbringing. Spending their earlier years living with a drug addict mother in a very unstable household. This is all the more reason for Poppy to be concerned for her sister's well-being since she's seen firsthand how badly drugs can affect you and those you love. She's also been very vocal about her sister's struggles with drugs and may have an important role to play in the coming days to help Kara out. Poppy Delavine looked deep in thought as she stepped out for a Pilates class in Los Angeles on Wednesday after her sister Kara admitted she didn't think she'd be alive at the age of 30. The Model 36 kept it casual in sportswear during her latest outing amid claims that her family is planning an intervention for her younger sister Cara, 30. Cara Delevingne's worried family is reportedly planning to stage an intervention after the model's increasingly erratic behavior over the past weeks. The actress has sparked concern in a series of bizarre incidents of late, with the star being pictured on Monday at Van Nuys Airport sitting on a bench shoeless with disheveled hair as she smoked a cigarette. The cover girl appeared unable to control her body movements at certain points as she was seen on the phone bending over, dropping her phone, and walking around looking very jittery, and as if she was unable to stop moving. Now, it has been reported Kara's loved ones are so worried about her, they're looking to find a way to intervene to encourage the model to get help. We're all incredibly concerned. This situation has been building for a few weeks now and Kara's family is involved. There's talk of staging some kind of intervention and making sure Kara gets the help she may well need. A family friend told The Sun, She's been burning the candle at both ends of late and it's clearly taking its toll. The consensus is that she needs a few weeks of total rest, no booze, no partying, and crucially, some healthy hot meals inside of her. They added, Kara's an incredibly bright, switched on girl, but even she needs a guiding hand sometimes. There's been some talk of getting her into a retreat of some kind for a detox and some R&R. It seems that Poppy has finally made the decision to end this once and for all and help her sister transition through this tough phase of her life by going through either rehab or a cleanse. How will she do it is anybody's guess, but the first steps have been taken. Poppy has also been pictured making regular visits to her sister's home in West Hollywood. Kara lives over in Los Angeles but was originally born in Hammersmith and has three siblings, including her model sister, Poppy. Poppy and Kara have had a rough childhood together. Delavine's past inevitably connects her to her mother. When she was young, Pandora was a British socialite that grew up in the highest ranks of society outside of the royals. She had an unfortunate struggle with heroin addiction for many years that might be hereditary. The sad part is that young Kara always assumed that her mother was sick and it was sister Poppy who filled her in for the first time about their mother's substance abuse. Seeing how that ruined their family, Poppy must now be determined to ensure that her sister doesn't go down the same destructive road. Kara has previously spoken openly about her battle with anxiety and depression, saying she was severely depressed when she was 15 years old after struggling at school due to her dyspraxia. Sister Poppy has been by her side through it all. The last time they were seen together was on a yacht trip to celebrate her 30th birthday in August. Kara was joined by Sienna Miller, her sister Poppy, Margot Robbie, and Pal Adwoa Aboa for a wild yacht party off the coast of Formentura, Spain. This means that Poppy has remained close to her despite everything. Poppy, who is said to be rallying around to support her sister Kara, has been spotted multiple times over the past few weeks, looking extremely tense as her sister keeps slipping deeper and deeper into addiction. Among many of the red flags was Kara's statement after turning 30. Kara admitted that she was surprised that she reached the age of 30 after celebrating her birthday in Ibiza last month. Honestly, I didn't think I'd be alive at this age, the model admitted to stylist. Literally couldn't wait to turn 30 because the 20s are so fucking hard. You're basically still a teenager, but you're meant to be an adult and everyone's telling you this is the best time of your life. 
A statement like this is definitely a call for help, and Poppy has evidently responded to it. Poppy is not alone in sharing the concern about her sister. Cara Delevingne's friends have grown so concerned for her that they are desperate for her to go to rehab, TMZ reported. Sources told the outlet that the supermodel's pals are worried she's struggling with a combination of mental health and substance abuse issues. Earlier that week, the Suicide Squad star's friend and co-star Margot Robbie was seen leaving the model's Los Angeles home looking distressed. Even though Robbie has not commented on why she appeared so upset, the photos of the actress in tears sparked speculation that serious issues were going on with Delavine. An insider told TMZ Friday that Robbie was visibly distraught with good reason over what she allegedly saw at her friend's home. The outlet also claims the Barbie star is one of the friends advocating for Delavine to enter a treatment program. Delavine has not confirmed if she's battling addiction and has only confessed to dabbling with drugs in the past. However, the Paper Town star's behavior in recent months has sparked concern. Other close friends have also commented on her recent struggles, but deny that it is out of hand. They've attributed her recent erratic appearances to a music festival, Burning Man, that she attended not too long ago. A source told a publication she had just spent days in the desert, not eating all that much, and she looked disheveled because she hadn't had time to scrub up yet. Her friends are worried about her generally after some erratic behavior, but she has a good group around her. Her sister Poppy was at the festival with her, and she wasn't alone, and she has her back. Burning Man isn't lined with burger vans like other festivals. You chuck everything you need in an RV, and that's what you have to live on while you're there. Everything works on a swapping system, they continued. The festival is unlike any other, as the annual nine-day-long event sees people come together to form a temporary community, which is intended to be self-sufficient. It's highly unlikely that her attending the music festival had anything to do with how she's been acting lately. But the good thing is that Sister Poppy has made sure she stays with her, even accompanying her to this festival. She's making sure that Kara doesn't completely fall off the cliff and has family near her to support her as she battles through substance abuse problems. That is encouraging. For now though, Kara's unstable lifestyle has continued. She recently failed to show for the launch of her fashion collection honoring the late designer Carl Lagerford held at Chic Restaurant Saga in the Big Apple's financial district. The model who recently lauded Lagerfeld as one of the major influences on her career was nowhere in sight as the sustainable collection of inclusive clothing and accessories was celebrated by a guest list of stars. Nor was she present at the Emmy Awards alongside her fellow Only Murders in the Building stars. However, she was still present in social media where she paid tribute to the legendary designer on Monday evening while guests filed into the New York venue. Reposting the collection's promotional video, she wrote, Happy belated birthday at Karl Lagerfeld. What an honor that the hashtag Kara Loves Carl collection is now available. I'm so proud of it. But Poppy may need to keep a close eye on Kara because she has a history of doing unspeakable things due to her drug use and mental health problems. Kara told Vogue that depression and a tendency to self-destruct both run rampant in her family. She realized she suffered from the same plight as the members of her prestigious lineage when she told the magazine that when things are going well in her life for too long, she prefers to ruin it. Kara was preoccupied with an array of morbid thoughts early on in her life. When I was a child, I was obsessed with blood and death. She revealed in a candid interview with W Magazine. Her fascination with all things gory, however, eventually took a turn. This sounds really dark, but my earliest memory is of cutting myself. I was pretending to shave like my dad. One time I covered my face in shaving foam and I got his razor and ran it along the bottom of my finger and nearly cut it off, she shared. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you again soon with more updates on everything. Goodbye!